went outside today to add some food scraps to one of my compost bins, and I was pleasantly surprised to find the bin was absolutely crawling with worms. There was little to no obvious worm activity in this bin a matter of weeks ago. The compost was just too hot. In fact, this is the bin I featured in my September 28th video, Can Compost Get Too Hot and What to Do If It Does? At the time, the compost was about 150 degrees at its center, and there wasn't a worm in sight. But now that the pile is starting to cool down, especially around the edges, the worms have moved in with a vengeance. And this is exactly what I want to see. I'm not just going to have compost in the spring. I'm going to have compost that is rich with worm castings. Currently, the pile is 100 degrees Fahrenheit at its center. As we move closer to the winter and the temperatures fall, the worms will move closer to the center to stay warm. I'm hoping that the pile will be warm enough for them to thrive through the winter and continue breaking down the compost and producing castings. Soon I'll top off the pile with more used coffee grounds and leaves to add additional insulation and some more heat in hopes of improving their chances. I look forward to emptying this bin in the spring. If all goes well, I'll have great compost that is rich in worm castings and I'll have lots of worms to add to my garden beds. Well, that's all for now. Thank you very much for watching, and until next time, remember, you can change the world one yard at a time.